So let's get started. Now, the first thing I would say when a man tells me I'm dating a girl, I want to figure out if she's a gold digger or not. The first thing I ask is, what does she do for a living? Now, the reason I ask that is because majority of women who are looking for financial investment through a man tend not to have a stable career path. What I mean by this is that they have odd jobs here and there, the job is temporary, or they might have a career, they might have a really great career, but that career was funded by a man at some stage in her life. Maybe her ex-husband, maybe it was somebody, somebody, her career was funded for or created by a man or she doesn't have one. Now, if she doesn't have a career and she doesn't have a stable background in terms of what she, where, trajectory where she sees herself financially, that makes women feel incredibly unsafe. They feel unsafe. So what they'll do is they'll look for a man with that financial stability. So that's the first one. The second thing I always ask, again, no judgment, but I always ask if a man is trying to understand whether or not a woman is gold digger, I ask about her relationship with her father. Now, when a woman has a steady father figure, even if he has no money and he's not that particularly rich, there's an element of safety when you have a father figure in your life. Now, when there is no father figure and there is no financial security, then chances are she sees men as a form of financial safety. So she will be more prone to looking for the financial status of a man. The next thing I ask is, did she come from money? Now, if she has really expensive taste and she likes really expensive things, but she didn't come from money, so it wasn't embedded from her childhood, it wasn't her father that was showing her this expensive lifestyle, chances are it came from another man. A man showed her this lifestyle and now she's become addicted to this lifestyle. So look at her taste and then look at her childhood. If they are in line, she's not a gold digger. She just comes from money and is attracted to men with money. But if her childhood was very financially insecure, but her standards are very financially um, expensive, then chances are a man introduced her to that lifestyle and it's a lifestyle that she wants to keep. Now. This is a really big one, okay? If you want to know whether uh, your girlfriend is a gold digger or not, this one is really, really important. It's whether she's out of your league physically. Now, what I mean by that is, if this girl is considerably more attractive than you are, then chances are she's willing to compromise on physical attraction in order to get financial investment. There is a myth going around that women don't care about looks. They do, like anybody, everybody cares about looks. Now, it doesn't mean we want the most handsome man in the world, but we want a man who has a similar level of attractiveness to us, yeah? It doesn't have to be, he's not, doesn't have to be a superhero, but he's similar to us. Now, if she's a bombshell and you are not, then chances are she's willing to sacrifice a physical connection with you, but you better compensate it in financial investment. Now, what will happen in those cases, nine times out of 10, not always, what will happen is when she's considerably compromising in terms of looks, she's there for a financial investment and she's less likely to be physically loyal to you because humans still crave physical chemistry. So I'll meet men and I'll have clients who are 55 years old dating a girl that's 28 years old and wondering if she's a gold digger, wondering if she's loyal. A 28-year-old is still going to be attracted to a 29-year-old man. We don't have this magic lens where when a man turns 50, we still see him as attractive. We recognize what's attractive and what's not. We're just, some women are more attracted to financial stability, but they're still physically attracted to a 29-year-old. So she might be physically disloyal. Don't delude yourself into thinking that she's physically attracted to you. She might be attracted to you as a package. She might become attracted to you. She might start loving the way you treat her and then that makes you more attractive. But if she didn't have financial insecurity, would she look at you? Would she date you? If the answer is yes, she was, would be attracted to me regardless, she's probably not a gold digger. But the answer is mm, no, she would have to get really drunk to even talk to me. Then she might be there for a physical effect, for a financial reason. Another thing, another trick that gold diggers use is they pretend to have less money than they actually have. What they'll do is pretend that they're well, they might not be pretending, but a common thread I see amongst men is that they'll say things like, her mom was in hospital, she needed money. Her mom's rent was due. Her mom was not feeling well. Her mom has no one. So what will happen is they target your emotional strings. They'll say, it's not for me. I'm not a gold digger. I don't want anything. But my mom needs it. 
my dad needs it. The rent is due. They they pitch the family to you. So what will happen is you start to think that you are doing a very altruistic deed, but the mums can often be in on the act. Yeah, I've been in circumstances where I've seen women say to their mum, "Look, quick, pretend you got a doctor's appointment. Just take a picture of you at the doctor's," and the mum's like, "All right, I got you." So. You'll be surprised at how far it can go. Yeah, so don't be naive to these things. Absolutely, help your, the love of your life's family. No worries if you're in a financial position to do that, do it. But there's something in the culture of families which encourage a woman to take money from a man that is different. And their gold diggers are not—they're not, they're not uh, born; they're created. And usually, they come from a family environment where the mother encourages her to use her beauty as a form of Financial gains. Um, the other thing that is a really big red flag is that the physical affection is intermittent. So the sex is intermittent. What I mean by that is she'll give you lots of affection when there's a bill due, when there's a bill coming up, and there is a price tag, and some something needs to be paid for, rent is due. Something your physical affection will be amazing. She'll dress up for you. She'll initiate. She'll be very kind, very tender. The moment that is paid for. Or the moment you ask for her, to, you ask for some kind of taking back. The physical affection will disappear. It will feel like a chore. You will feel it. You have to initiate. She kind of avoids it. She pretends she doesn't want it. Blah blah. Whatever. She's not well. So the physical affection is. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in for the rest of this video and for exclusive weekly content that you won't get anywhere else on the internet. Make sure you join my Patreon. The link is in the bio. Not only will you be able to watch all my exclusive content, but you'll also be able to ask me a question anytime throughout the month. So thank you so much for watching. The links are in the bio.